In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, the Lord be with you. Good morning, everybody. I'm offering this Mass for Betty Cowhig. I'm also remembering in prayer today Gerald Fairhurst, whose third anniversary is today. We remember him in our prayers. He was a parishioner back in Standish. We remember also his family, his wife Margaret, his children, Chris, Nick, Louise and Anthony, and all the rest of their family. Today we keep the memoria of St Thomas Aquinas. Born about the year 1225, St Thomas was a Dominican friar who spent his life studying, writing and lecturing. Thomas was born a member of the noble Aquino family and initially studied in Monte Cassino and then in Naples. He became a member of the Dominican order and completed his studies firstly in Paris and then in Cologne where St Albert the Great was his teacher. Thomas was an outstanding writer and teacher of philosophy and sacred theology. He died at Fossa Nuova on the 7th of March 1274 and he's venerated on the 28th of January because it's the anniversary of the day his body was reburied in Toulouse. So as we begin our celebration in his honour we pause to call to mind our sins. Lord Jesus, you came to gather the nations into the peace of God's kingdom. Lord, have mercy. You come in word and in sacrament to strengthen us and make us holy. Christ, have mercy. You will come again in glory with salvation for your people. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life. Let us pray. O God who made St Thomas Aquinas outstanding in his zeal for holiness and his study of sacred doctrine, grant us, we pray, that we may understand what he taught and imitate what he accomplished. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, for ever and ever. Amen. A reading from the letter to the Hebrews. Through the blood of Jesus, we have the right to enter the sanctuary by a new way which he has opened for us, a living opening through the curtain, that is to say, his body, and we have the supreme high priest all over the house of God. So, as we go in, let us be sincere in heart and filled with faith. Our minds sprinkled and free from any trace of bad conscience, and our bodies washed with pure water, let us keep firm in the hope we profess, because the one who made the promise is faithful. Let us be concerned for each other, to stir a response in love and good works. Do not stay away from the meetings of the community, as some do, but encourage each other to go, the more so as you see the day drawing near. The word of the Lord. Responsorial Psalm Such are the men who seek your face, O Lord. Such are the men who seek your face, O Lord. The Lord is the earth and its fullness, the world and all its peoples. It is he who set it on the seas, on the waters he made it firm. Such, Such are, are the men who, who seek your, your face, face, O Lord. Who shall climb the mountain of the Lord? Who shall stand in his holy place, the man with clean hands and pure heart, who desires not worthless things? Such are the men who seek your face, O Lord. He shall receive blessings from the Lord and reward from the God who saves him. Such are the men who seek him, seek the face of the God of Jacob. Such are the men who seek Alleluia, alleluia. You will shine in the world like bright stars because you are offering it the word of life. Alleluia.
The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. Jesus said to the crowd, Would you bring in a lamp to put it under a tub or under the bed? Surely you will put it on the lampstand. For there is nothing hidden, but it must be disclosed, nothing kept secret except to be brought to light. If anyone has ears to hear, let him listen to this. He also said to them, Take notice of what you are hearing. The amount you measure out is the amount you will be given, and more besides. For the man who has will be given more. From the man who has not, even what he has will be taken away. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, which earth has given in human hands have made. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Bless be God forever. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the sacrifice which we gladly present on the feast day of blessed Thomas Aquinas be pleasing to you, O God, for taught by him we too give ourselves entirely to you in praise, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, almighty and eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For as on the festival of St. Thomas Aquinas you bid your church rejoice, so too you strengthen her by the example of his holy life, teach her by his words of preaching, and keep her safe in answer to his prayers. And so with the company of angels and saints we sing the hymn of your praise, as without end we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, and all you have created rightly gives you praise. For through your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, by the power and working of the Holy Spirit, you give life to all things and make them holy, and you never cease to gather a people to yourself, so that from the rising of the sun to its setting, a pure sacrifice may be offered to your name. Therefore, O Lord, we humbly implore you, by the same Spirit, graciously make holy these gifts we have brought to you for consecration, that they may become the body and blood of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, at whose command we celebrate these mysteries. For on the night he was betrayed, he himself took bread, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, broke the bread, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, and gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, 
the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, O Lord, as we celebrate the memorial of the saving passion of your Son, his wondrous resurrection and ascension into heaven, and as we look forward to his second coming, we offer you in thanksgiving this holy and living sacrifice. Look, we pray, upon the oblation of your church, and recognising the sacrificial victim by whose death you will to reconcile us to yourself, grant that we who are nourished by the body and blood of your Son, and filled with his Holy Spirit, may become one body, one spirit in Christ. May he make of us an eternal offering to you, so that we may obtain an inheritance with your elect, especially with the most blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with your blessed apostles and glorious martyrs, with St. Thomas Aquinas, and with all the saints, on whose constant intercession in your presence we rely for unfailing help. May this sacrifice of our reconciliation, we pray, O Lord, advance the peace and salvation of all the world. Be pleased to confirm in faith and charity your pilgrim church on earth, with your servant Francis our Pope and Malcolm our Bishop, the order of bishops, all the clergy, and the entire people you have gained for your own. Listen graciously to the prayers of this family whom you have summoned before you. In your compassion, O merciful Father, gather to yourself all your children scattered throughout the world. Remember your servant Gerald, whom you have called from this world to yourself. Grant that he who was united with your son in a death like his may also be one with him in his resurrection, when from the earth he will raise up in the flesh those who have died and transform our lowly body after the pattern of his own glorious body. To our departed brothers and sisters too, and to all who are pleasing to you at their passing from this life, give kind admittance to your kingdom. There we hope to enjoy forever the fullness of your glory, when you will wipe away every tear from our eyes, for seeing you, our God, as you are, we shall be like you for all the ages and praise you without end, through Christ our Lord, through whom you bestow on the world all that is good. Through him and with him and in him, O God, almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honour is yours for ever and ever. Amen. Saviour's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your Church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who lives and reign for ever and ever. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace.
Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Let us pray. Through Christ the Teacher, O Lord, instruct those you feed with Christ the living bread, and on the feast day of blessed Thomas Aquinas, they may learn your truth and express it in works of charity. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. I have to say I can very much make my own the words of the opening prayer this morning, which said, um, Grant us, we pray, that we may understand what he taught. I have to say, I still bear the scars of trying to study St Thomas Aquinas. I remember when I was at Usher at college, um, one of our courses was on his book on being an essence, and I could not tell you a thing about it apart from what the title is. And um, one of my, I think I got something about 30% for my assignment on it, and um, the professor at the time tried to convince me that it was better to engage with the issues rather than, you know, just get a high mark and not really understand it. I would have been very happy with a high mark. <laughs> the Lord be with you. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your life. Thanks be to God. Thank you for joining me for Mass this morning, those of you here in church and those of you at home. Bye, God bless.